Today we want to show you how to load a design from a USB device. We have here the ZSKT8 unit control and behind the unit control you have three USB ports. The USB device is now connected and I want to load now designs. So I press the button R1 which you can see here. It means select machine designs. I press the button and now underneath I have different possibilities to load design and one of them is USB device as you can see here. I press the button. The next step is he's asking me what kind of frame what do I want to use. The frame could be tubular, can be cap frame, can be blanket, even shoe frames and I choose it with my arrow keys and confirm. These are the arrow keys to choose the different frame types, up and down, as you can see here. If I have chosen one, I confirm it with confirm. After I have chosen my frame, I'm automatically on the USB device, which you can see here, here, load USB designs. On my USB device, I have a folder called designs. You can see clearly marked here. And to open this folder, I have to use the button L8, which is called here select. I press the button select. Now what I see are all my designs on the USB device. They are listed in numbers, as you can see on the left side, as well name and etc. But you have the second possibilities to see even the pictograms with U1. If I press this button, I can see all my pictures. To move in between the designs, I have the possibilities to use the arrow keys, which you find here on the right side. The button down, the button right, the button up and the button left. Every time when I move, I can see even a red framed around the design. So I know which one is the right one. And in my case, I choose now the flying horse and press L8 select design. The next window shows me an overview about my selected design. You can see here my design number as well as the design name. Um, of course, I'm able to edit both of them, but if I like it still as it is, I simply confirm it with L8. Confirm. This window shows me now the optimization possibility. To optimize a design, you use actually optimize with default values. It includes, for instance, to delete small stitches from 0 until 0 0.3 millimeter as well it will insert start needles etc. If you don't want to optimize your design, you want to keep it as it is original from the digitizing system, please use no optimization. And if you want to make your own optimization, you have the third possibility up here, it's called optimize with user defined values. I press now with default values. The next window shows me the modification. I'm able to modify my design. For instance, when I want to put my design on a cap, I have to rotate it for 180 degrees, which you see here in the middle. If I want to increase, decrease, or give an angle for the design, I use modification setup. In my situation, I don't want to modify anything, so I say no modification, and I press the button here. At last, I got an overview completely with the design, as well as I can see here the whole design size, from the width as well as the height. I can see the needles which are in use, number one and two. If I want to see, for instance, my start point, where is it? I can press here U1, press the button, I see the start point. As well as I can see the end point two, which is U2, over here. Finally, I like it as it is, and I press the button L8, accept loaded design. Now I'm able to start the machine. But if I need to assign the needles, then I have to use the button called needle assignment. This is this one here. I press the button. 
You see now again the overview of my needles which are in the design in use. The gray ones are not in use. And I can assign, for instance, it shows me here the horse should be green. Checking now my thread on the machine. And in my case it's needle number three, so I press the button number three. And that means needle number one will go automatically to three. Needle number two is blue in this situation. And I press now the arrow key which is over here to go to the next needle. And this is marked now and blue is in my situation needle number nine. Now the assignment is done and I confirm it again with L8. The overview you see again here. If it is necessary to set design on the right position for the t-shirt, I have the possibility to use the button U3. It's called design range. If I press the design range button, I got actually the marked completely over my design, as you can see here. And if I press now the start button, the machine will show me exactly how the design will be placed. I can see even the cross here following my outline shape, as well as the needle will do the same on the frame. I have the possibility to go the contour a little bit finer. If I press here once, you see it goes finer, finer and finer. And so the, the needle will follow now exactly this shape, as you can see here. The design is now placed well on the garment or fabric, whatever, and I leave it now, the menu with previous. And now I'm able to start the machine. The design is finished and now you see even here end of design.